Hello and welcome. Our today's topic is really very interesting known as S3 event notification. In real world scenario, this is the most useful feature. I'm going to give you an example of how S3 event notification can be helpful. Here, I'm going to one of the most famous site to sell your product, OLX. Now, if you look at here, somebody wants to sell his or her car. Now, when you upload any product inside OLX, you will find out that OLX will add this kind of OLX watermark automatically. If you look at this here, in each and every photos that we are uploading on OLX platform, they are adding this OLX logo. And this can be possible with the use case of S3 event notification. In this video, I am going to explain you event notifications using three chapters. Chapter 1 is all about introduction, chapter 2 benefits and chapter 3 is actually real practical of how we can add watermark using AWS event notification. In the exam, they are also asking questions related to this kind of scenario. So we are going to perform lab of this particular uh, topic in the chapter number three. So let's start with the chapter number one, event notification introduction. So here we have a very simple definition. What is the use case of event notification? Send notification when specific event occur in your bucket. Let's say that if you have any bucket, let me go to the S3 right now, I don't have any bucket. Here I'm going to create bucket. Let's say that my picture 01. Here I have one bucket. Now, Whenever any kind of event occur with this specific bucket, it is going to send notification. You may be wondering like which kind of events can occur with the bucket. So here we have example. Let's say that object created. When somebody upload any object inside this S3 bucket, object deleted or object restore means you just restore your data from Glacier. We will discuss about Glacier, but if this kind of events are occurring, inside your AWS S3 bucket, you want to send notification. Now here you may have one question that, okay, I want to send notification, but what will be the destination of notification? Here we have three main destination. SNS, known as simple notification service, send message to the subscriber. You can use this particular option if you want to send email to your subscribers when they are going to upload any image inside your bucket. We can also use SQS to send messages in the queue and then the third one which is the most important part of our journey known as Lambda function. If you want to run your code serverless, you can use Lambda function. Let's say that if I have some code in Node.NET or a Python code, I don't want to provision EC2 instance to run my code, I can use Lambda. Definitely, we will learn about Lambda in upcoming days because it is one of the most important service of AWS. Right now, you guys may not aware about this, but you don't need to worry about this. I just want to tell you that when we are going to use S3 notification, event notification, whenever somebody will upload any object, it will run Lambda function, means it will run code without provisioning server. So these are like a three main destination. Right now I have one bucket. If I'm going to this bucket properties here, when you scroll down, you will get this event notification tab. Now here you need to click on create event notification. You can give name and here you will get all the details about which kind of event. Here we have three, four object creation event. If you want to use all these four, you can select this. We have object removal and restore. So here we have list of all the events. Same way, if you scroll down, you will find out these three destination. And here we have Lambda function, SNS and SQS. Right now, in the chapter 1, it is just an introduction, so I hope you got complete idea about how this event notification is actually working. But you don't need to worry about this. 
in the chapter number 2 we are going to talk about benefits of s3 email notification so here S3 email notification is used to automate the workflow. As I gave you example of uh, OLX, millions of people are actually selling their product using OLX. If they are going to add a watermark of each and every pictures manually, it is not possible, right? But here, what they have is a automated workflow. As soon as you will upload any picture inside the OLX platform, it will going to add. uh olx logo automatically so they have automated workflow and you can also use this for the real time monitoring you can send notification to all your customer that whenever you will upload any product you will get email you can monitor all the process real time as well if you are monitoring this if you have automated workflow basically we have efficient efficient processing so even notification is actually providing three benefits now it's time to go for the real world scenario and we are going to perform one live lab if you look at this particular picture that you have inside your on your screen i have one s3 bucket now whenever somebody will upload pictures jpeg files like we have or lx scenario it is going to send event notification it will send this event notification to the lambda and lambda program will run in this lambda function we are going to add this watermark seems interesting it is exactly we have in olx website and the most important part is they are asking question related to this scenario in the exam as well so let's start live practical of s3 event notification with this particular scenario sorry sorry i know that you want to watch full video but full video is now not available on youtube if you want to watch full video i want you to go to our website when you will go to our website you will find out our course 100 days youtube challenge i want you to enroll for this course by paying only 499 rupees for lifetime if you are from india if you are from outside of india you just need to pay 7 us dollar once you will enroll to this course you are going to get all full videos over there on our portal you are also going to get certificate after completing the course and we have just uploaded 120 videos we are going to upload another 120 videos as well so there will be total 240 videos i hope we are going to meet inside the class thank you very much